वेलकम टू क्रिएटा क्लासेस द टॉपिक ऑफ द लेक्चर इज ट्राइंगल्स विथ टू मीडियम्स आर परपेंडिकुलर टू ईच अदर दिस इज ऑल्सो ए स्पेशल टाइप ऑफ केस द रिजल्ट आर वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट इट विल हेल्प यू इन डायरेक्टली सॉल्विंग द क्वेश्चन इन कंपिटेटिव एग्जाम्स फॉर दिस लेक्चर द केस इज दैट इन ए ट्राइंगल टू मीडियम्स आर परपेंडिकुलर टू ईच अदर बेस्ड ऑन दिस केस वी विल डिराइव रोलेशन दैट रिलेशन इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट so moving further towards the lecture for the relation firstly let's take a triangle abc okay this is a triangle abc let's take two medians that is be and cf and these two medians are perpendicular to each other means this angle is 90 degree let's take the intersection point as point g the angle bgc is 90 degree If this angle is 90 degree, then angle FGE will also be equal to 90 degree. Why? Because both of these angles are vertically opposite angle, and we know vertically opposite angles are equal to each other. So we got angle FGE is also equal to 90 degree. Further, CF is a straight line. So can we say sum of both of these angles will be equal to 180 degree by linear pair axiom? so we got angle bgf is also equal to 90 degree similarly angle cge will also be equal to 90 degree so all of these four angles are 90 degree got the point further we know point e and point f both are midpoint of ac and ab respectively so can we say bf is equal to ab by 2 BF is half of this complete side AB. Okay, F is the midpoint. Similarly, we can say CE is equal to AC by two, the half of this complete length AC. Further, let's assume EG as X and FG as Y. We have assumed both of these line segment as X and Y. And we also know the centroid divide the median in the ratio of two is to one. Okay, we have done this. So if this portion is y can we say this as 2y and this line segment bg as 2x the centroid had divided the median into the ratio of 2 is to 1 if we take the ratio bg is to ge we got 2x by x that is 2 is to 1 further the ratio of cg by gf will be 2y upon y that is 2 is to 1 moving further if we take the triangle fgb and EGC can we say both of this triangle are a right angle triangle angle G in both of these cases is 90 degree angle if we apply the pythagoras in both this triangle we got some relation let's see what are those relations firstly let's apply the pythagoras in triangle FGB we got AB by 2 whole square is equal to y square plus 2x square similarly in the triangle EGC we got ac by 2 whole square is equal to x square plus 2y square pausing for a while we have various modules on complex and dynamic mathematical concept which are difficult to teach using the traditional teaching methods we cover the difficult mathematical concept using the visual learning tools check out the link in the description for the various mathematical modules created using the animation and the visual tool that is through the visual learning tools we believe in adding creativity to the learning now let's back to the lecture so we got two relation let's simplify them and add them on adding we got 1 by 4 time ab square plus ac square is equal to 5 time x square plus y square Okay we got a relation our relation is having ab and ac ab and ac are the two sides of the triangle and x and y we have assumed as eg and fg so somehow we have to replace this x square plus y square with the sides of the triangle let's see how we do so for that let's take the triangle fge this small triangle we have taken and this is also a right angle triangle with angle g as 90 degree angle let's apply the pythagoras in this triangle we got f e square is equal to x square plus y square further if we take the triangle abc and the line segment fe 
are you able to correlate this figure with our figure of midpoint theorem f and e are the midpoint and fe is the line segment which is joining the midpoint of two sides of the triangle and we know as per our midpoint theorem the line segment joining the midpoint of two sides of a triangle is parallel to the third side and is also half of the third side so as for midpoint theorem can we say fe is equal to half of bc putting the value in the equation we got bc by 2 whole square is equal to x square plus y square so can we replace x square plus y square with bc by 2 let's do so so we got 1 by 4 times ab square plus ac square is equal to 5 times bc by 2 whole square on simplifying and solving we got ab square plus ac square is equal to 5 times bc square this is the important relation so this is the relation that we are talking about which is ab square plus ac square is equal to 5 times bc square ab ac and bc are the three sides of the triangle which triangle the triangle in which two medians are intersecting at 90 degree angle or the two medians of the triangle which are perpendicular to each other this relation is applicable only and only when two medians are perpendicular to each other got the point this is very important relation questions are generally asked in the competitive exam based on this relation let's take a small question to further see the implementation of the formula the question is if in a triangle ABC BE and CF are the two medians perpendicular to each other and if AB is equal to 19 centimeter and AC is equal to 22 centimeter then the length of BC is we are having four choices first is 20.5 centimeter second is 19.5 centimeter C is 26 centimeter and D is 13 centimeter let's solve the question firstly let's make the figure let's take a random triangle abc let's take the two medians as cf and be and these two medians are perpendicular to each other ab is given as 19 centimeter and ac is given as 22 centimeter let's apply our formula that is ab square plus ac square is equal to 5 bc square this formula is only applicable in the case where two medians are perpendicular to each other. Here the median BE and CF are perpendicular to each other. So we got 19 square plus 22 square is equal to 5 BC square. On solving we got BC as equal to 13 centimeter. Okay that is the answer of the question. Just a simple question to show the implementation of the formula. So that's it for this lecture. Thank you very much for being with Creator Classes. Bye for now.